Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. If you didn't know yet, here's your announcement that I'm holding a remix contest over at HomestudioCorner.com. So go to HomestudioCorner.com slash remix, and it'll pull up the page that you can see on my screen here. It's a remix of the title track from my upcoming album, which will be released on April 7th, 2015. And the deadline for the remix competition or contest is March 31st. So if you've never done a remix before, it's not a mixing competition. I don't want you to remix what I'm giving you. It's already mixed. I want you to take it, remove elements, add new things to it, create a completely new song from my song. And you can check out the full details at homestudiocorner.com slash remix. But for this video, I want to show you kind of, if you've never done it before, real quickly how you would set that up and get started. Um, so let's dive into the computer. Okay, so if you're looking at the screen, you'll see here is the link to download the stems. Okay, and that will download into a zip file, which when you open will have these seven audio files inside. So I'm not giving you the full multitracks. It's not on you to figure out how to to remix the entire song. I'm giving you basically my drum mix, my bass mix, my electric guitar mix, acoustic guitar, B3 vocals, and this background vocal no track. And so they're already mixed. So if you pull these into your session and just hit play, you will be listening to my final mix. And then you can pick and choose what you want to keep and what you don't. So the idea of a remix is you keep the vocal, keep the verses in the chorus, you can move them around if you want, and you can replace or mangle or reuse or get rid of anything else that you want. So let's say I was going to do this. I'm creating a new session. The files that you're given, um, they're 44-1, 24-bit files. So one way to check that out, if you click on something on a Mac and you hit Command-I, it'll pull this up and you can see it's 44,100 sample rate, 24-bit depth there. Okay, so... Um, that's what you set your session to. The tempo for this song is 106. It's in 4-4, and I'm going to set my session to be uh, at bars instead of seconds because I'm probably, if I'm going to do a remix, I'm probably going to pull in some kind of loop and things like that, maybe. Okay? So we say, okay. And now we come drag these files, select them all, and just drag them into our range window. Boom. Here they are. Okay? And it's literally, you drag them in, pull them back all the way to zero, and if you hit play, you'll hear this is the song. Now, from this point, you can organize them how you want them. I like drums up top bass, put the vocals down at the bottom with this background vocal thing, electrics up here, guitars. Okay, that's kind of the order I would do them in. And then if I was doing a remix, I'd probably mute the drums. So then we ended up with just something like this. I was blind, thought that I could see. Then I'd probably start by bringing in some sort of a loop, right? So that's the idea. That's what's fun about this is you can totally change the vibe of the song by changing all the instruments. If you want to record stuff, so far I think there has been a, um, like a some sort of a, like let's see, there was an EDM country remix sort of thing. There was a uh, a lot of kind of synth pop kind of stuff. So there's there's a, there's several that have been submitted already, and you're just waiting for you and your version. So if you have time, it's a fun creative thing to do that doesn't require you to write any new music. You can just jump in and add your own stuff. Okay. I don't know if I have the, I was going to throw a loop in here, because I, I don't think I have the loops installed on this computer, so never mind. But the idea is you drag in a loop. A lot of these softwares will allow you to drag in loops that will match to the tempo of the song. Loop it out, start adding in stuff, adding in synths, keep tracks, mangle tracks if you want. Let's say you wanted to keep the original drums, which sound pretty stinking good already. <laughs> Let's just say you want to mangle them like crazy. Well, I'll throw a distortion on there. That'd be awesome. It's different. And in the whole mix, it sounds very different. It's better this way. It's better today. 
So just that alone should give you kind of an example of what what you could possibly do. I did do this actually on my laptop. I pulled up this song in GarageBand and um, and threw in a couple of loops and some weird like dubstep, some, I don't know what it was, weird bass track. And it was actually really fun. And here's what that sounds like on the intro to my podcast this week. This is Ask Joe number 137, the remix version. It's better than- you can hear that is quite the departure from the original song which is this Before, it's better this way. so there you go if you want to try your hand at it or just listen to the tracks and kind of the final mixed stems from my song just out of curiosity's sake head over to homestudiocorner.com slash remix you can read the directions there and scroll down, and there is a click here to download the stems file. I'd love to hear your version of it. Let's see who wins. That's it for me. See you next week. Bye. I was